Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Lance 2185. It's a great lightweight travel trailer bunkhouse model. So if you're looking for Lance quality, but you want bunks, this is one you have to watch. Uh, let's go ahead and start off right over here, something you see in almost all the Lance products, and that is the big, beautiful U-Dynat slide out. Uh, this one is the Roadster interior, as you can see here, but I love the Lance U-Dynat. Extremely comfortable, great padding on here, very large, so that way you and the family can sit around, enjoy a meal together, play a game together, whatever you wanna do. Uh, right up top, you do have a light that's on a dimmer switch here. Sorry, I don't want to get in the way. You can see that there, which is very nice. Uh, windows all the way around to let in a lot of natural light. Uh, they does have the night and day shades there, so you can go ahead and choose if you want to block out all the sun or let a little bit of light in. Of course, because it is Lance underneath, you see the beautiful finished front here. These are drawers, which are great. Both sides, huge drawers, excellent storage, very easy to get to. This does also drop down into a bed. So if you want extra sleeping, if you have guests coming over, you can just take this leg out right here. The table will sit along the rails, put, fill it in with some cushions, and that will give you your extra sleeping space. So uh, that is definitely an added benefit. Now I explain this in most of my Lance videos, but I'll do it in this one too because I often get asked this question as to why Lance has a raised slide. Uh, and the reason really is very simple. So Lance creates a lightweight travel trailer. They want to keep it as light as possible, which means you're generally going to be towing it with smaller vehicles. Because it weighs under 5,000 pounds, you can tow this with a midsize or larger SUV. So what Lance does is they try to keep the RV low. When you have a smaller vehicle, you don't want all that wind resistance. The higher it sticks up behind your vehicle, the more wind it's gonna slow you down. So they, they keep it as low as possible, and that's why the slide is high. Manufacturers have a flush floor slide. All they do is they raise the entire RV up to meet this level right here and that's why it's a flush floor. Uh, so again, for me, I'd rather take a step up into it and make it a heck of a lot easier to tow and Lance agrees. Right over here is your entertainment center. You can see the Jensen TV as well as the Jensen Multimedia Center. Name brand electronics in here. If you're not familiar with Jensen, it is one of the best uh, electronics in the RV industry, built specifically for the RV industry to withstand the shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from hot to cold. This multimedia center controls your speakers. It is a radio, CD, and DVD player, so if you wanna watch a movie, go ahead and pop it in, and it is also Bluetooth capable. You'll see right here, you have a nice little shelf. Uh, you, everything can plug in right here as far as your components, electrical outlet there too, so any auxiliary com uh, components can plug in there. The uh, cabinetry they use in the Lance is what they call light ply. It's great. It's lightweight, extremely durable. And one of the things I love about Lance, again, when, it ta when you're talking about quality, is they CNC cut everything in here. So if you take a look, you can look up at the ceiling line and see how there, it lines right up with the ceiling. Most manufacturers can't do that. And if you take a look at the other, all the competition, you will see that they put up here what is called the gimp molding. And gimp molding literally hides imperfections. It tries to make it look nice, um, and it does. But the fact that they can make these true cuts is fan, uh, absolutely phenomenal. And also, extremely durable stuff. You can pound on this anywhere. Uh, everything in here, they, they notch out, they stick together, they glue together, very residential application. Right underneath here, you have a nice pull, easy to get your hand into, open that up. You see you have shelving right there, perfect for a DVD collection or whatever else you want to throw in there. Let's go ahead and move across the way to the kitchen. Now, it's not a huge countertop in this uh, camper, but what they have done, they've given you sink top covers, they've given you a cooktop cover, and they give you the countertop extension right here on the end. So when all the covers are on, you do have very usable prep space, good workspace here. You can take the sink covers off. You see that is a undermount uh, single bowl sink, nice and deep. Honestly, I really like single bowl sinks. A lot of people don't, uh, but for me, if you have big residential cookware, which, you know, if you're in a Lance, maybe, you know, you're, you're cooking a lot more food, bringing it with you, having this big sink is great because you can fit that in there. It's nice and easy to wash out, especially with the residential style pull-out faucet here. Uh, if you move over to the cooktop, as I mentioned, this has the cover, stainless steel cover on there. Three burner cooktop, it's Atwood, the front one is high output. 
And then underneath you have an oven if you want to do some baking. You can take a look right here. You see you have an electrical outlet, which is nice. We'll go ahead and open this up, take a look underneath. Uh, you see you have storage there, three drawers right here. Uh, this is one of the things I often get asked as well is why Lance uses plastic drawers. It's quite simple. Uh, versatility. You know, you can take these outside, you can sit at a picnic table. If you are using actual silverware, you can put it in here, use it as a wash bin, a rinse bin, whatever you want. If they get dirty, take it out, clean it up. Uh, you know, it definitely has its advantages to use these. Another couple things, electrical outlets, you have one here, you have one on the other side of the counter right there too. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker or toaster, it's not a problem to do that. And then take a look at this right here. One other thing Lance does is they may try to make maintenance as easy as possible. You can see right there is your water pump. So when it comes to winterization, you don't have to dig for it. You don't have to remove panels. It's right there for you. Plus, if anything ever goes wrong and it needs to be repaired or replaced, again, it is easy to get to. If you take a look up top, you'll see uh, kind of the stainless steel look throughout, which is nice. You have the hood here with the light and fan. Microwave there up top. We'll go ahead and open this up. You can see some additional storage right there. Then on the side here, you have this little guy, which is pretty nice, control panel there as well. A couple LED lights up top, one here. You have LED lights actually throughout the entire ceiling. Uh, LED lights are great because not only do they not put out near the heat, they also use a fraction of the power. So if you are taking this boondocking, which a lot of people do because it's four season capable, uh, having those LED lights, lights is a huge advantage. Also, you can see your AC right here. Uh, this guy is nice, it's a skylight, has a cover on there. You will notice the little buttons. That's because you have hatch covers on here too. So if you are camping in colder weather, like it is here in Michigan right now, uh, you can take those hatch covers, go ahead and put them up there and help seal in the heat. Uh, lastly, as we round out the kitchen right over here, go ahead and open this up. This is the Norcold fridge freezer. You can see that has great space in there. Uh, you have a cutout here as well. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Thermostat is right there on the outside too. Uh, if you take a look up top, this is for your solar panel. This one is equipped with a solar panel. This is your controller. Make sure you know, you're not blowing up batteries. So that's definitely important. And then if you take a look underneath, there is some additional storage there. Now, as I promised, this one is a bunk model. So as we make our way back a little bit, uh, we'll actually start right over here. Uh, this is kind of the extension of the bathroom. They've kind of broken it up a little bit, which for me, you know, I have kids myself. I really like this. I have some people that complain. They want an all-in-one. The big advantage of this is someone can be showering, someone can be using the bathroom. You can still be out here, you know, brushing your teeth here in the sink, if you need to do your hair, whatever it may be, you have the capability to do that. Uh, but very deep bowl, which I like, you can take a look there. Um, you know, you have plenty of clearance for brushing your teeth, it's easy to get into. You're not gonna hit your head on the medicine cabinet here, uh, which does have storage behind it as well. Very nice, light up top there too, uh, so you can see yourself in the morning. Towel ring right here will dry off your hands. Underneath, you can see some additional storage there. And take a look at this. This is really cool too. They even give you a countertop extension here in the bathroom. You know, so if you have a curling iron or something you need to set down, you can go ahead and put it there. Plug-ins there, obviously, as well. If you take a look up here, you will see hookups for another TV. So that way you can have a TV for the kids back here. Uh, so that's a, a big advantage as well. Um, this is your second entry door. You'll see this one does have two entry doors. So the cool thing about this is that, you know, the kids can come in, go right to bed uh, without disturbing or vice versa. And this bathroom door can actually close completely off. So when this closes, you'll see a little latch right up here. Latch is just like that. So it kind of separates that way you can have some privacy, you know, between the front and back half. Also back here, you see a hanging rod in the back. So you have uh, kids storage. Underneath, a little bit of extra storage there. You can see I threw my boots down there, but there's some extra storage there as well. Uh, the very back has two bunks. You can see that here. The cool thing about it though is they do give you three mattresses. So if you wanna put a third one on the floor, it's not a problem to do. So you can actually sleep three people back here. Window on both top and bottom lights. Skylight there as well. Uh, you can see that the windows do have little screens to shut off and block out the light. 
And then there's a door in the back too. Uh, so from the outside, you can actually lift this bunk up. It tilts up. That gives you a ton of extra storage out there, which is really neat. So if you need to load up bikes or anything in here, you can do that. Uh, again, it just gives you a lot more versatility. So as we take a look at the rest of the bathroom, you'll notice right down here, you have your foot flush lever toilet, nice and easy to get to. Plenty of leg room here as well, as you can see. Uh, right directly in front of me, you do have a place to store the ladder, which is very convenient. Underneath, toilet paper holder, and you'll also see there is a heat vent in here. So if it is cold, you don't have to worry about freezing in the bathroom. As far as the shower, uh, there is plenty of space. I'm about six foot. You can see they have this nice skylight here, so it does give you a little bit extra headroom. Uh, you know, if you're 6'5 or taller, maybe a little tough in here. But in order to close the curtain, you have this guy right here, which is nice, just closes right off. That way all the water stays in. And you'll also see in the shower, you have some shelves and a hand wand here as well. If you take a look at the front half, you'll see right here is a privacy curtain you can close. That way if you have additional guests, you have some separation. Also, you have an electrical outlet here, as well as some storage bins right there, uh, thermostat control, and a clock up top. If you take a look at the bed itself, this is a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. That can be a huge deal if you're a taller person, you'll actually get the length here, that way your feet aren't hanging off in the middle of the night. Um, this does have storage underneath too, almost forgot that, let's go ahead and show you that. This is strut supported, very easy to lift, you can see the hatch covers right over here, uh, backup camera right there. So you take a look at the sides, you see you have great storage there as well. So you have your uh, nightstand here, both sides have a full extension pull-out drawer. You see you have electrical outlets on both sides. Uh, the one side there even has your uh, couple USB ports too, so you can have multiple different types of charging. You have LED reading lights, this beautiful front window right here, which you know definitely gives it a great look from the outside, also allows a lot of sunlight in. Uh, you know, if you have it opened up. And right up top here, you see you have nice auxiliary lighting as well as a shelf. And then on both sides, again, good storage. You can see the uh, hanging rod there for any clothes. Lastly, you have a nice little magazine rack over here too. Window on both sides for a cross breeze. And then a key ring they've installed right as soon as you walk in this door so you can just hang your keys up. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Lance 2185. As I mentioned, if you're looking for a quality, well-built, lightweight bunk model, this one's under 5,000 pounds, and Lance has a ton of things they do to improve quality. Everything from the self-adjusting brakes to the Lance lock system to light ply, everything they do makes it a top-notch product. If you're interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you can be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.